Hi, my name is Stephen Gauci and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate for you exactly how to practice uh, learning chord changes. Um, actually, not chord changes, but individual, individual chord types. Okay, for example, um, in this video we'll be covering major and minor triads. Um, okay, so I'm just going to show you exactly how this works. Okay, so now the way we construct a major triad we take the, the first degree, the third degree, when I say degree, I basically just mean the first note, the third note, and the fifth note of a major scale. So um, if we were basing it on a C major scale, here's a C major scale, starting on low C, and then low G, and E, and F. So the third note, okay, and then the fourth note is F, and the fifth note is G, so here's the fifth note. So if we take the first note, the third note, and the fifth note, that would be a C major triad. Okay, now um, when I run the triads, I go from the lowest root I can play, on the saxophone, which would be a low, a low C, okay, to the highest root that I can play on the saxophone, um, okay, um, and and actually, you know, I'm I'm going to exclude the altissimo range for the purpose of this lesson. That's an extended range, and uh, we don't need to deal with that here. We'll talk about that in a separate video at another time. Um, but so I'm going to be going up to the uh, regular high C right here. So. Um, and I play them in triplets, so I play these in quarter note triplets, so it would be da 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 like that, one, two, and Okay, now we can also slow this down and play it in quarter notes, so it would be three quarter notes to a measure. Um, and by the way, I will be um, illustrating all this. I'll be writing out the music and posting PDFs um, at my website, skypelessons.gauchimusic.com. So at the end of this video, please click the link to my website and you can download these PDFs and you know it will be illustrating. Um, I'll write out the chords and um, how to play them and all that, okay? So, anyway, here we go. So, we can slow this down and, and uh, we can change it from, from uh, eighth triplets to quarter note uh, and do it like this. One, two, and three. keys for every chord set. So, you know, we're going to we're going to um, go through all 12 keys on major triads and then we're going to go through all 12 keys on minor triads. It's very important that this is all memorized. Um, it doesn't matter. It's entirely irrelevant if intellectually we understand how to make a major triad and a minor triad. Um, and we, we understand it and we know what the notes are, but when we pick up the horn, you know, we have to think about it. That's no good. It's not going to help you and um, it's not the kind of knowledge that is helpful uh, when improvising. Um, you know, I've had quite a few students that had, had degrees in music um, and, um, and, 
you know, they knew a lot about theory and they still could not improvise and it's because um, because they knew it in their head but they didn't know it in their fingers. This is muscle memory. Um, okay, it's, it's a lot like sports and um, so, you know, what I'm going to do is show you exactly how to practice so that um, so that you can learn it that way, so in, a, in a way that's going to be useful when you're actually improvising. Okay, so now here's the next thing. It's very important when we the order that we practice the chords in, we go in the cycle of fourths. Um, I do not go up chromatically. So, for example, uh, we're not going to learn. We're not going to play a C major triad and then go C sharp major triad and then go D major triad. That's going up chromatically. That would be the. cycle of fourths. Okay, so we're going to start on a C major triad and then the next the next chord that we play is going to be an F major triad. Okay, so C, D, E, F. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're just going up four notes and then the next chord is going to be a B flat major triad. So we go F, G, A, B flat. Okay, now it's a B flat and not a B natural because in the key of F, the fourth note is a B flat. It's not a B natural. Okay? Um, so we're going to go C major higher. <laughs> You start in the key of C and then we finish in the key of C like that. Um, and, and all music goes in the cycle of fourths, all of it, all Western music for sure. Um, it doesn't matter what type of music it is, it, it doesn't matter if it's Charlie Parker or Beethoven or Mozart or whatever, it all goes in fourths. Um, and if it doesn't go in fourths, that's, uh, it's some, that's something of note. Okay, it's, it's kind of a, um, 
a diversion from the norm. Okay, so um, so by learning, by practicing your chords and and in fourths this way, by moving in fourths, you're training your ear to hear fourths. And when we talk about a two five one, for example, um, you know, in in the previous video we were talking about Green Dolphin Street, and we were working with two five ones in that context. Okay, well. A two, a two, five, one is just three chords moving in fourths. It, you know, uh, for example, if you have a um, an E minor seven, that's a two. It's E, and then it goes up a fourth. E, um, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. Okay, so then it goes E minor seven is a two. Then A seven up a fourth. A seven is the five. And then A7 goes into D, upper fourth, A, B, C sharp, D, okay? So, um, so when we practice this way, when we practice uh, moving in fourths, our ears are learning how to hear, hear in fourths, okay? So, um, and what happens is you start to um, anticipate, like your ear can, can, can hear ahead of where you are because it gets used to uh, hearing in fourth, so it, it, it can, the ear kind of uh, can hear the next note before you even play it, which is probably going to be up a fourth. Okay, now, um, also, your fingers, okay, your muscle memory, your fingers get used to executing uh, so that we're moving in fourths, okay? So, it, you know, it, this is a particular technique that you need to develop. Okay, and um, you know, this is the thing about technique. Technique isn't just playing scales. That's not what technique is. Okay, that's, a, that's basic technique. When you're just learning how to play the instrument and move your fingers. Okay, that's necessary too. But, you know, when we, when we talk about technique, we're talking about, well, the technique you need to do what you're doing. And what we're doing here in this video is we're learning how to improvise. That's what we're doing. We're improvising, um, and you know, and particularly um, jazz improvisation. Okay, so um, so by by practicing these chords, which we need to learn anyway in fourths, we're also training our fingers the correct technique to move in fourths, which is which is what they're going to be doing all the time. Okay, so. Um, so those are some of the benefits of this. And the thing is, in order to memorize something, we have to play it over and over and over. Okay? So it's a great opportunity to train your ears to hear in fourths and to train your fingers, since you have to do these chords over and over anyway, just to memorize them. Right? So now let's move on to minor triads. Okay? So uh, minor triads, they're essentially almost the same as major triads except we flat the third. Okay, so, uh, so once you learn the major triads, then we know, okay, so C major triad, we have C is the root, and E is the third, and G is the fifth. Okay, so we flat the third, so now we have C, and instead of E natural, we have an E flat. And that's the only difference, so we have C, the, the, the root, E flat the third and G natural the fifth. Okay, so it sounds like this. Okay. Um, now again, when we practice, we do not practice C major triad and then C minor triad. We just don't practice that way because it doesn't make any sense generally. Um, because in the actual practice of improvising, maybe every once in a while you're going to play a C major triad and then it's going to go to a C minor triad. Okay, it happens sometimes in some songs. In Green Dolphin Street, there's something similar like that in the beginning. We have a, a D major seventh and then we have a D minor seventh. Okay? Um, but for the most part, by and large, uh, it, it doesn't happen that way. Um, okay, generally you're going to see a 2-5 going into C major, or you're going to see a 2-5 going into C minor, or a minor 7th is usually a 2 chord. 
okay? But a major seventh is a one chord. So, um, so anyway, my point being here is, you know, we don't want to practice like this. When we practice these chords to memorize them, we do not want to go like this. Okay, so right now we're dealing with the minor triads, and we're going to go up from C minor seven, uh, C minor triad, and then we're going to go to an F minor triad up a fourth. Right, C, D, E, F. Okay, so so C minor. cycle of fourths and we wind up where we start. Okay, now, um, uh, very important to take your time and memorize this, okay? You just have to know them, your fingers have to know them. It can't be, it can't be like, you know, uh, That's useless. It's worthless. Okay, it has to be your your fingers have to know them. Okay, your fingers have their own little brains. Okay, forget about this brain. Use these brains. Okay, each each one of these fingers they have their own little motor in there and their own brain. Okay, and they need to know what to do. That's all. So you know when you it, it, it basically needs to be like this. Take your time. Go over it as as much as you need to. Spend spend months on it if you have to. Spend spend a year on it, on the major triads and the minor triads, because all the other chords are built on those triads. And if 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 the triads aren't solid, you know the house is just going to fall down. Okay, so take as much time as you need, and and it's fine because no matter how long it takes. You're, you're training your ear to hear in fourths, and you're training your fingers to move in fourths, and uh, that is going to serve serve you well in the future when we start really dealing with two five ones, 
um, really that's that's um, that's about half of it really being able to uh, move in force going forward all the time okay and it doesn't matter if it's slow or fast it's, it's the same thing so take your time and keep the momentum going slowly you know ba -da -da. And then ba da 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 Right into the next one, two, three, ba like that. Okay, you want to keep the forward momentum going. And over time, it will happen faster. Okay, you won't even really notice it. You will just start to get faster. You'll start to um, ease into it that way. Okay, so just take your time and, um, you know, stay with it until it's pretty solid, until you really know it, before you move on to the next set of chords. And when you do move on to the next set of chords, when you're ready, check out the next video, and uh, we'll be checking out uh, dominant sevenths and minor sevenths in the next video. Okay, so uh, that'll be it for today. Um, thanks a lot, and have a nice day. Okay.